Hello kindergarten friends and welcome to your virtual field trip. My name is Deb and I'm a teacher on special assignment at School Mental Health Ontario. We've joined with our friends at OPEA to offer you these virtual field trips. This is the second video in a series on stress management and coping. When I turned on my phone to record these videos today, I went to the camera and flipped it so that I could see myself. When I saw myself, I noticed that my shoulders were hunched up near my ears and the space between my eyebrows was squinchy and furrowed. I didn't even realize my body was responding this way. I must have been feeling a little stressed. So I relaxed my shoulders and I tried to relax the space between my eyebrows. That's what this video is about. We will share three muscle relaxation activities. And we'll think about how these activities can help us when we feel big feelings. When we do have big feelings, it affects our bodies and our minds. Muscle relaxation exercises can help us relax and feel better in our bodies so that we feel more ready to learn and more able to handle those big feelings when they come our way. Remember, each of us is unique and strategies that work for some might not work for others, and that's okay. It's our hope that throughout this video series, you'll find something that works for you. So let's get started. I encourage everyone to join in. These activities are not just for kids, they're for grown-ups too. Hi, my name is Andrea and I am an educator. I am also an ambassador for OFIA. As part of the lesson found in the Student Mental Health Action Kit, Ensure that you have completed the Minds On activity before participating in this video. Here's the learning goal. We are learning and practicing muscle relaxation strategies as a possible tool to help us cope with stress. Before we get started on our first activity, I wanted to do a bit of a check-in with you. How do you feel right now? I want you to notice how your body is feeling. Do certain parts of your body feel tense or even tight? Let's begin our first activity called Let's Go and Stretch. Now, in this activity, you can sit down in a comfortable position or you can even stand. I'm going to be doing this activity standing. In my standing position, I'm going to make sure my feet are shoulder widths apart and my shoulders are relaxed, and my hands are by my side. Let's start off with three slow breaths. Breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Let's try again. Breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. One more time. Breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Now, I want you to take your palms and bring them way above your head. You see mine? And you can bring them together or you can leave them apart, whatever is more comfortable for you. I want you to also make sure that you pay attention to your shoulders, making sure that they are relaxed. Okay? So let's try this together. We're gonna breathe in. And when I breathe out, I'm gonna make sure I relax my shoulders. This time, when I breathe in, and then when I breathe out, I'm gonna lean over one side of my body, making sure I bend at my hips. So let's try this. Hands up, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out. When you breathe out, see if you can stretch a little bit further. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Breathe in and breathe out. So, I've stretched one side of my body. Let's try to do the other side. Do you remember what to do? I'm going to take my two hands, 
bring them way above my head. I'm gonna breathe in, and when I breathe out, I'm gonna bend at my hips and see if I can stretch over. Ready? Let's try this three times. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Great work. I want you to remember that stretching can be modified to suit your students' abilities and their developmental level. As you know your learners the best, we invite you to adapt the activities to suit the needs of all your students. Now, let's do a check-in. What did you hear when you take a moment to pause and notice how your body might be feeling? Do you feel a little bit more relaxed? Feel a little bit more calm. Did you know that students who make time for physical activity and also breathing exercises during the school day are able to focus a lot better? They're even able to regulate their emotions? You know what? This simple exercise can help you be ready to learn. Hello, I'm Tracy Gross, and I'm the Culturally Responsive Practices Lead for School Mental Health Ontario. Today I'm going to take you through some chair stretches. This one's called Mountain Stretch. From your chair, put your feet flat on the ground. Then I want you to take a deep breath in. Avoid holding your breath when you're doing these stretches. Raise your arms up high like you're reaching to the sky. I want you to put your palms together and I want you to breathe in for three, two, one, and out. And in, two, three, and out. Two, three, and then lower your hands down to your lap. Let's try that again. Remember, you're trying not to hold your breath. Reach up with your hands, up, 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 like a mountain to the sky. Reach as far as you can reach. Put your palms together and breathe in for three, two, one, and out for three, two, one. Make sure your shoulders are down. In for three, two, one, and out, holding your, taking your hands back to your lap, four, three, two, one. Our last activity is called Tense and Relax. I've chosen to do this activity outside because being outside makes me feel good. Earlier, I mentioned how I noticed my shoulders and my face were tense and how when I relaxed them, it felt better. That's the idea behind these activities. You can use this tense and relaxed strategy on all different parts of your body. Today, we're going to focus on two body parts, our neck area and our hands. You can do this activity from seated, from standing, even from lying down, where, wherever you feel comfortable. So let's start with our neck. This activity is called turtle. What we're going to do is pretend that we're a turtle hiding inside the shell. So you're going to bring your shoulders up towards your ears and hold them there for three, two, one, and then relax your shoulders slowly down for three, two, one. It's important to remember to breathe when we're tensing our muscles like this. Let's try it again. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears, hide inside your turtle shell, three, two, one, and slowly relax by bringing them down. Three, two, one. Remember to breathe. Let's do it one more time. All right, shoulders up towards your ears. Hold them. Three, two, one. 
slowly bring them down. Three, two, one. The second tense and relax activity we'll try is for our hands and it's called lemon because you can imagine holding a lemon or an orange or another juicy fruit in your hands and then squeezing the juice out of them. So we're going to squeeze our hands together tightly in a fist and hold it for three, two, one, and then slowly relax. Three, two, one. Let's try it again. This time, if you don't like the way it feels to squeeze your hands in a fist, you can try putting your hands together and squeezing two hands together. Squeeze them tight like you're squeezing out the juice. Three, two, one. And relax slowly. Feel the muscles. Three, two, one. You can do this with your hands resting on your desk or on your lap or wherever it's comfortable. I'm holding them out in front so it's easy for you to see. Another variation you can try, you can try it like this, like this, or if you have some objects that you can use, I have some things that I sometimes like to squeeze. I have this little squishy toy that's shaped like a star. It might be a good one to try for this activity. Also, you might just have objects around your house. I found this clean sponge in the kitchen I like the way it feels when I squeeze it. I always have rocks in my house. So rocks would be one that you could hold in your hand and you could squeeze around the rock instead of your hands if you like the feeling of that better. I'm gonna try this last one with this ball that I have and I'm gonna squeeze it with both hands. You decide how you'd like to do this last one and join me. Ready? Let's squeeze and hold. Three, two, one, then you're slowly relaxing. Three, two, one. Link to this lesson is the activity card Tense and Relax, and you'll see that there are other body parts mentioned there if you'd like to give them a try as well. Now that you've tried all three of the muscle relaxation strategies, let's do a check-in. How are you feeling now? Notice if your body feels more relaxed. Are your shoulders feeling softer? What about your eyes or your face? What do you hear when you take a moment to pause and notice how your body might be feeling? Educators, please refer to the virtual field trip lesson plan for activities to help consolidate this learning. We also encourage you to revisit the Student Mental Health Action Kit for further supports and resources. Thank you for joining OFIA and School Mental Health Ontario on this virtual field trip. We hope you find these strategies helpful. Educators, don't forget to stay connected by following OFIA on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at OFIA Canada. Also, Follow School Mental Health Ontario at smho underscore smso on Twitter and follow our youth account on Instagram at thrivesmh.